Uh, some people tell me that I throw the ball too fast, and when I do that, that it doesn't, I don't have any reaction on the back end. I'm not getting quite the hook that I'm looking for. Um, is there a way that I can help slow that ball speed down? I would say being able to change your ball speed is one of the best tools that you can implement into your game, um, particularly when the volume is very high and we need to get the ball into you know, the proper skid hook roll phase. Getting softer is the best way to do it. Um, we recommend that you move up on the approach at least a foot, I mean a significant amount. And a lot of times we've got to find a way, if we're trying to slow down your foot speed, that's going to slow down your ball speed. We also in turn want to make sure our swing matches the time frame that it takes to get there. So we oftentimes need to create sometimes a larger swing to, so that they're matched up together. And one thing you want to watch out too is that some players they're just pulling down from the top and they're trying to throw the ball with all the upper body and it really doesn't matter if we moved up or anything like that, that acceleration of pulling down. So you want to definitely check first to make sure you're not just pulling down from the top because that can create falling off the shot issues or like knee problems and stuff like that because all of a sudden the upper body is just loading up and just pulling down. And sometimes just letting it drop, it'll slow it down a little bit but it'll help your ball read the lane better. Okay, and is that something that um, obviously I need to practice that, so how would I do that in my practice sessions? Well, you know, most bowling centers have the capability of telling what your ball speed is. They may not always be accurate, but at least they're probably consistent. So we recommend for our Team USA players and, and kind of the elite players that come through here that they have the capability of throwing, having a three mile per hour difference between their ball speed. So, you know, maybe their normal speed is a 18. If they can get to 19 and 17, something to that effect, it's all going to be you know, even up to 20, depending on what you're bowling on, that's enough of a range to work on. So using those monitors at the center to help you figure out where you are, and it is something that you have to practice. At your center, when you practice, it's going to be a little different than like here at the International Training Research Center, because we're measuring speed off your hand, which is really takes just the bowler into the equation. When you go to the bowling centers, usually the zones are down by the pin, so it takes a lane pattern and, you know, friction is going to be on the lane. We recommend that when you do in a practice, use your spare ball. Even though you might use your strike ball release, it'll give you a better read of your variations of being able to adjust your ball speed because it'll take the lane out of play. Because you, when you do that in your bowling centers and you throw your spare ball, you're not really throwing your spare ball faster. It just doesn't slow down as much. So if you're practicing your speeds, do have a spare ball if you're using those lane mile per hour monitors.